Okay, here it is. Here's the video I almost promised I would do. I'm just going to give you a little tour of this little area here first. But first, before that first, check this out. Ha ha ha! Look who's here! Well, hello, YouTubers! Yeah, I'm just hanging out. Yeah, I'm boring. I got my stuff. Where's your ball, Mona? Where's your ball? You gonna shake a paw? Good girl. <laughs> hey, shake a paw. Shake a paw. <laughs> she said, leave me alone. I was napping. Go away. No, she just wants to be with me. That's all. This is made out of um, some paper pulp. I'm going to put it in the oven. It's quite light. It's drying, but not very fast. This is just a melange of a whole bunch of stuff for some books that I'm working on, which are here. I think I've got three on the go in this pile. This is the new dog food bag one. This is a, a sheets one. I'm going to put fabric on it and then that'll um, fix that up. This I need to mend. So this is collage stuff. Yeah, this is collage stuff. Collage stuff, like these are all book pages. Look out! It's frightening. Anyways, that's all collage stuff and I just sort of like what I do is I get all crazy and go all all over the tables and then I remember that I have people that can walk in and it kind of needs to just go in the bins. So I get it out, do stuff and then put it away. And then eventually there's progress like like this. Who's Ro Rosemary Morris from the textile collage group lady? Textile. Anyways, Ro everybody knows Rosemary. Everybody who's watching this right now knows Ro Rosemary because she's awesome. So she inspired me to finish up this book that I had, purse book. Um, I got it at Gleaners for two dollars. I used to have some strings on here. They're plastic and bright neon pink, but I needed this. I wanted this little sp spine. The back, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what the proper terminal. I'm sure. I'm sure someone can comment what the proper terminology for that is. My guess, it's a spine, but it's okay if I'm wrong. I really don't care. I'm pretty, pretty much, pretty sure I'm gonna put a pocket there of a bird or something. These are just um, little gift bags. And this is from the Flow magazine, I think. Paper, and then I just glue this little doily thing. There's some tags and stuff in here. I'll put those out. Just, I'm gonna sew that together, so I'll put that over there. Thought I'd put a button, and then I have this little clothing tag. I need something to put in there too. This is from wool samples. Look at the skin. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Love the chevron. That's the same what makes it nice. There's a little pocket there. Pocket. This is a chocolate, Purdy's chocolate wrapper. This was from Telus. That little piggy. <laughs> These aren't like it's a work in progress, you know. It's not all, it's not all done yet. It's just the foundations being laid here. Some more flow, flow bibs. Hey, flow bibs. Little napkin. These are flow papers. A little pocket here. Look there. Sorry, I'm probably not holding them very. It's it's fine. A little pocket here. This is some. Handmade paper from a paper maker and stamped. Handmade paper at the art barn. Sorry. This one feels good. It's nice and sturdy. I got this from the scrapbook store in Fremont. 
This is what I love about just doing like lots of practicing on the machine. Then you can put it in as pages because it's like a scrap fabric bag journal. Oh my goodness. Who knew there would be, who knew it, that that would be so awesome. Well, I did actually, pretty much. So I'm gonna sew this, stitch that. Oh man. another one in there it must be the next one. I'm just gonna spare here. This is from I got a book laces it's called. It's pretty close by because I like to do the gel transfers. And on the tea dyed paper like oh yeah it's so awesome I know right yeah gel medium transfer Who's your mama? Oh, lots of mail. I've got lots of stuff going on right now. It's all good. I'm just saying, I'm definitely not complaining. No, not complaining. <sighs> all right, so that goes like that, but I have one hand, so it's not gonna happen. So yeah, that's my little project there, my little work in progress. I don't know. This is miscellaneous just stuff. <coughs> Probably I could put that this at the back, but maybe it's a lid to something that's need needs a lid. Okay, let's go have a look around here. Here's my uh, CD. This is new since I did my last studio tour. This was a CD rack. I some a girl gave it to me actually, and then I pimped pimped it out in my style. Oh, Mona's chair's in the way, so I gotta move her forward a little bit. Sorry, Mons. There you go. Yeah, so uh, in here I got my brayers. I got these are like little tags from shirts. My inks. There's this is I just let the kids use a little bit of this for a gel, the jelly plate, which is here. And then I have another table that I put here with two other jelly plates on it. So the, this is like a little jelly plate station over here. I'll try and move slowly. Um, so the top, yeah, and then I have more inks here and pencil crayons. Some glue sticks, watercolor for the kids, stamp things, popsicle sticks, marbles, lots of paint, all the paint. And then they put the marbles. I saved all the boxes from my chairs. And then I do a fun thing with the kids where they put paint on the paper in there and then marbles and then roll it around and flip it over and you know, it's fun. Marbles are fun. Let's just admit it. Anyway, so yeah, I just spray painted the front of all those boxes cause I thought they look awesome and I didn't want to have the Ikea thing on there. So here, what do we have here? Anyways, there's the inks. That's what, I like to keep my erasers in there, but there's just one. This is all glitter. Oh no, just that's glitter. Chalk pastels and watercolors. These are all acrylics. And there's some plaster cast stuff at the bottom, which is good for texture in collage. Lots of paint, the ice, these things, paint. Paint, just gesso and spackling. Here's all the glitters, like I have a million glitters, so that's awesome. I got a garage sale for like $10, so awesome. But this is my little bag of, well, my guest book is there, the, the dog's leash, because I have to walk back to the house with her with the leash now because there's a skunk somewhere and people we know their dogs got sprayed and I do not want to deal with that because she's out the door and she's like running, which is fine, but when there's skunks in the hood, you don't want to let them out. So they're not there all the time, though. No. Certain time of year. So that's all my Saskatoon paper some jean paper over there. This is made from, yeah, I probably didn't show that one in my last, made from crochet cotton. My new open sign, I'll show you it's over here. I'll show you that. I just put that in my little style there. Love it. Throw up the shaking camera. It's my new open sign. And I know that there's a whole bunch of like, it's not perfect, but 
from far away in a car. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> so I'm going to take my, my weighted hula hoop that I like to play with. And I'm going to put it over here. Like right there because it's awesome there. So I want to do something. I was thinking about re yeah. Sorry, we bypassed a whole bunch of stuff. It's so easy for me to get sidetracked in here. So I'll go back to where I was. So this corner is where everyone comes in. Eventually this will open, but it's not where we have everything for it. And my new chandelier, which I'll show you pretty soon. It's coming along. Um, so yeah, there'll be tracks and then this will open eventually, but probably not till next summer, obviously. Um, this is my spray paints and my fabric paints, and then that's collage old magazines. That's for when kids come, this little, I got all kids stuff in there. It does need to be organized better, but it's it, where everything is right now. This is business file. This is just stuff, like bookmaking stuff and... Oh, I just got in. This is like probably office work a little bit. Yeah, bookkeeping stuff and, and uh, yeah, that's my desk where I love to sit. Every minute of the day. Thanks. Little water thing. This is where I put some books. But sometimes Mona gets in there and she, and she pulls them down and she's all violent with them. It's, oh, I don't know what to do with that. Anyways, I'm over here right now. So this is going to be a little light wait i took the bubbles out tonight and then we made these washers and then i'll put a big um, steel one there and then they can do some knots and put and hang it yeah so they're all, those are all done um i've got a couple more shell machines but i'm gonna put one here once this is all done this is my i finally got this done i think it's like 99 percent done I wouldn't be surprised if I did a few other things, but here, I'll get up here on the table. It's not hard because it's only up my knees. I'm just going my knees in the stand up here. There you go. So I had made one over the, it's over there underneath my, see over there, that pegboard? And she saw one, she said she wanted one just like it for her husband's. Um, he collects barracudas. So she sent me a picture and then I did a stencil of it. So this is eight feet by four feet, four feet by eight sheet of pegboard for tools. So yeah, the barracuda, and if you look, you could see there's people in the car. Let me see what I did with the little lights, so like the lights, like that, like that. And did a little drippage on the I'll do some more drippage probably for sure. And then I just colored the the nine and the six and the nine. Colored that in. And of course it's going to be framed so it can be hung. Colin will do that. I'll have to pay him a couple dollars to get him to do that. Which is funny. Anyway, so I want to... I want to move... See that blue thing? I'll show you. Let's get down from this table. I love it that I can... Uh, Stand on the tables is what I was thinking. Yeah, I love that. Hey, are you chewing my slippers? I should put those slippers on. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. No, you're chewing that blanket. Look what she does, like a little baby. She sucks on the end of it. Goofball. Goofball. This is her little ball there. She loves it. My dog food. Ripley's. My dog. Okay, let's get let's get busy on the tour. It's a really bad tour. I did wash the floor. I washed the floor, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. My, my I've posted this on social media. I wrote a blog about it on my website and it's no big secret. My mom has dementia and she can't sew anymore now. This is just recent within the last month. It's been declining rapidly for the last couple of years, but she's happy. She's happy. Like she just accepted it. She goes for walks every day and it's far. So she's almost 80 and um, anyways, my mom is just happy. So I 
got all her fabric and this is mostly mostly mom's fabric but some of it I had and so there's this is what I need sorted so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach quilting and then they can use this fabric and I'll donate all these quilts to some needy cause but the people will get quilting lessons for free because they sew all that stuff up and then I won't have to deal with it <coughs> I'll be done Mona likes to go up in there and you know what she does she makes a mess and it just infuriates me so eventually I'll have bins but I, I need to, them to be all the right size so hey get out of there Mona look at her look at her in there get out come on get out come on come on she's so naughty you can't see her she's like biting my hand oh my god she's naughty she's naughty anyways we're at 15 minutes like let's get busy on the studio tour sorry it's this is terrible i'll watch this back and if it's ridiculous i won't post it but anyways i want to move this this is a vacuum press and it needs to be up on legs so it can be rolling around and being be useful being useful as is it's a big heavy it's so heavy pain in the butt so this is a good table to have as like an ironing station so I want to move this station over to here because it's got all the plugs over here and I like right from when I started I thought I'd like to have a table here and have you know all this stuff in it so yeah I think I'm gonna stop this video not right immediately relax we're not done the tour yet here. What are you doing? Mona, come out of there. Come on. Let's go. Who's here? Who's here? Come on, let's go. Let's go see. Do you want to go to the... <laughs> I bet you if I stood up she would make lots of noise. Look at her, she's going to push all that fabric up. Little effer. <laughs> See, I told you. So this is all this kind of, this is all the same it just all needs i i i'm only one person the art barn wasn't built in a day i'm getting there i'm getting on it so there's the hammock i love this hammock it's like my most favorite thing in the world i love to lay in it in the dark it's so awesome because of the skylights <sighs> i'm just saying <coughs> i'll let you peek in here it's a mess like a big mess so this is the dog food that's a rack we bought for the dog food it's pretty big we'll probably have it in here for now until we can afford to fix up the other shed well we can afford it but we until we have the it in the budget it's not in the budget it's not part of the plan yet so this has been major progress here this door actually opens now which is good because we have a skid of Dog food coming probably Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday at the latest. I can't stand the noise. Colin got this big rack. I think it was in Costco, maybe Canadian Tire. And it's the bomb. It's huge, hey? Love it. These are the racks I got at um, the local bargain store. The same ones that we repurposed to be an awesome shelf up there. I was even thinking, what do you think of this? Is another rack up there? 